I have returned. Let's just exit out of here. Oh, baby. This is the new thing that you were talking about, wasn't it? Well, Act 4 was only unlocked by beating all three. On the third, uh, like winning one match with all three of them. Was there some form of marking? Yeah, well. Ascension level 7. Normal enemies are tougher. Well, let's try the silent again, shall we? I'll give him one more attempted run through and then we'll probably move on to something else just to mess around with. <sighs> 100 gold is rarely worth it unless there's like a shop immediately. And even then... It kind of gives me a choice of a rare relic, so... The other pathway really isn't appetizing. Let's go with 100 gold. I am very, very curious about what might be here, so let's go take a look. Well, Miss Silent... Are you giving me the silent treatment again, baby? No. It's a horrible thing to say. Let's see what we can pull off with you. Well, I definitely know for a fact we're not going to be getting through this thing anytime soon. I can't wait till the normal enemies are tougher. God. I think I just have to keep being aggressive against the jaw worm, otherwise I'm just not getting through anything. Oh no, he's powering up. And of course, as he's powering up and I don't need defenses, I get defenses. Game, how do you torment me this way? Well... I can either only take 10, or I can set it up for lethal next turn, of which I have a very, very, very small chance of actually doing, but hey... Actually, I have zero chance of doing it. There was no way I could do it. Well, that's a fresh 15 to the face, on the very first enemy, no less. Oh my goodness, let me kill you already. Let me get rid of some cards. Or just make it so we can draw through them a little bit faster. Hmm. We'll start off with prepared and see if we can get discard synergy rolling. Well, 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 well. None of these relics are actually interesting in the slightest. But, but... We can always take panache and another prepared. Oh, why didn't I take expertise? I'm an idiot. Oh, well. So, the idea is we play Panache, we play a bunch of other cards, and we're in we're a Panache deck, basically. Now, will it work? Eh. Eh. It it's debatable. No Panache. Alright, fine, I guess. Uh, I'm a survivor? I mean, we could still keep drawing to try and find something. An Ash Strike Survivor. We get two prepared cards, or more energy, we can get Panache to work. Really? Oh my gosh, we got it! We got it, but he's not dead! He's one off, and that makes me mad. Die. I'm a fairy in a bottle with an escape plan. Why would a fairy in a bottle have an escape plan? Oh god, don't tell me you're Navi. Ooh, purple fire spirits dancing. Um, 10 out of 10 would never want to strike again. Now, real question. What do I want to go for? I need to go left and go for the elites. That's... Okay, this over here is going to kill me. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. No matter how good my deck is, I just die. This over here... 
a lot less so. There is a way around. There's no fire, but I can take a question mark, so I'm going to take a question mark. And it's enemies, because of course it is. Can I please just get panache in my opening hand? No. Am I... Is, are you... You would deny me all that is holy and sacred? Well, I can kind of work with this. Eh, eh, eh. You're dead. Get over it. We could survivor, which blocks everything. Honestly, this is a good setup for a shiv deck. I'm not even gonna lie. Basically being able to just spam out a bunch of shivs and start triggering panache every five seconds. Yeah, it doesn't sound too bad, actually. Let's discard it from your hand, gain an energy, or heal hook, which draws us more cards, but actively hurts us. We have enough discard stuff where Tactician could be viable. Alright, hello there. Hello, hello, hello. We're gonna escape plan first. We find Panache. Too bad we just can't make use of it. I will admit, this probably wasn't the best idea. But here's what we're dealing with. Uh, discard you. Discard a strike instead, because we can just defend ourselves and deal more damage by panashing. And that strike ever would. Prepare it again, get out of the strike, prepare it again, get out of the strike, defend, defend, defend. I mean, technically the twin strikes would be dealing more damage, but I would be taking more as well, so there's always that. And as long as I can consistently be triggering panache every turn, I guess most of my strategies will be fine. Hmm. It doesn't trigger panache, but it... Once again, I'm trying to take as little damage as possible on this fight. everything we're doing, I don't think we're going to kill the Log Villain before it kills us, of course. I need to get him below 10 health, and I just don't see a way to do that. Even with everything that I'm tossing his way. Well, I, I get him below 5. I mean, if I get, like, a couple strikes plus enough trigger panache, no. Ah, this doesn't even kill him, so no reason to do anything different except defend. The one hit doesn't even kill him. Thank you for that game. I, I so very much love it when you explicitly mess me up every time. There we go. Ooh, frozen egg. All powers are upgraded upon being picked up. Tactician, I don't feel like is getting is worth getting two copies of. And Caltrops, I'm not defensive enough, even with Panache as of right now. So while it would upgrade, I just don't think it's worth it. Hello, slavers. Good to see you. Oh, Panache is in my opening hand, and I can't use it, because, well, the game just said no. Alright, slaver. Prove to me your lack of annoyance. Let's 
So I think this is a weakened mate. Oh no, it's vulnerable. All right. Uh, drop you. Drop you. I w oh, s thank you. Good sir for not making me have to do anything. And now I have the option of trying to kill him. But if I can see a way to do so without actually doing anything, sure, I could just sit here and defend. Why not? If you haven't noticed, my comments and commentary is just becoming increasingly crazy. And mundane. Slice is interesting, but we don't draw enough cards to make Slice viable. It's disappointing, really. Oh, not the wheel. Do not shank me, you little freaking knob. Okay. Okay, I can deal with the. I can. I can deal with a relic. Ooh, that is a good relic too. If I can get shivs. What do I get here? Bottled lightning. Oh, baby. Um, I will definitely choose escape plan because it is a draw card effect that automatically replaces itself and gives me a ton of benefits. So we'll do this. We'll panache. We're prepared, which will allow me to discard a random strike because, you know what, I'm just defending myself right now. No need to worry. And then one more panache next turn will kill the thing in the back. Draw, discard, which gives me four, which allows me to just focus fire. And it is dead. Like, this is all well and good, but I really, really, really need to heal before I, uh, bite the bullet, so to speak. Nope, nothing here that's good enough. Do I... Do I really want to try to fight an elite in my current state? I could go no guts, no glory, and go after the elite, because it gives me a rest site if I win. Sure, we'll do it. Let's do this. Oi, knob. Oi. I'm talking to you. Never be able to do this again. It would be easy if it was a if it wasn't a freaking knob of all things. Here, I can block this attack. It's the next one that's gonna scare me. So he's currently at 24, because I am planning on using the explosive potions to kill him. The question is, is can I do anything else with this? So if I draw into anything else, I am guaranteed, if I'm able, if I draw into a single zero drop, I can kill him. If I don't, I die and have to use the fairy in a bottle. What are the odds? So it's a... One in four chance. It's a one, it's a four out of ten, which is a two in five chance. I think I can take it. And it failed. Wonderful. Um, sure, we'll, we'll go all out just this once. Can I strike him? It delays by a turn. He's still going to overkill me by an insane degree, just because I have no way to avoid doing so. Oh my goodness, wait. Did I manage to make it out of this by only having to toss my explosive potions? And I didn't even have to use the bottle. Sweet. And a preserved insect. And a wraith form plus. At the end of your turn, lose one dex, but I'm playing a very defensive build. Hmm. 
No. Wraith form plus is great if I only need a few turns of setup. The dexterity loss effectively guarantees that I die no matter what. On the later fights, even upgraded, it's just not worth it. If it was like double gain dexterity, or double gain intangible, and you don't, and like you only lose a certain amount of dexterity because the intangible is a temporary benefit, that'd be better because I could still mitigate that. But instead, I'm just gonna take backstab because it gets rid of itself from my deck, and well, double backstabbing is usually nice. Uh, I'm gonna heal because I don't feel like dying at the boss. And it's the gloop. I didn't bother paying attention. Panache? Panache? Baby, panache. We're looking for a single panache. No? Why do you do this to me? Alright. Come get some. Ah, that weakness. I, I am not a big fan. Can I please have panache? Thank you. It's like, this is one of the cards I legitimately need to run this deck. If I don't have it, I'm screwed. Take two. Sorry, I take three, but now I'm vulnerable. Wow. My disappointment at just that, him being alive by four, is impressive. I mean, hey, I still technically gained health back. And I'll get out of the vulnerability state soon. Just need something like shivs, something else that I could use panache with. No, he's not dead, so I have to do this. Right, I have two more things I need to do still before this weekend is over and done with, because if I don't do them, I might be screwed for next semester. I also need to check to see if I can actually do stuff with the registration. Why am I remembering this now in the middle of the stream? I'm remembering it because I want to go to the student center and get barbecue wing, like chicken wings, boneless. But at the same time, they are like not available until nine o'clock and I think it's only on weekdays. Oh, I'm just getting more and more depressed the more I talk about this. Anyway, now we're panashing. The backstab deals exactly 11? All right, um, you are gonna take the hit. Escape plan into a prepared. We're gonna discard a strike because it's irrelevant here. Oh, if I neutralize, no, I could neutralize him after. Prepare to, no, we don't need to do that. We just do this, kill you and prepared, which draws and discards immediately. Dead. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Steroid Potion. Infinite Blades. There's the Shiv synergy that I'm looking for. Sure, a guaranteed Infinite Blades is fine by me. I will definitely rest because I don't want to die when fighting this guy. I will chuck this at him because I don't expect him to have his buffs for too long. Okay, we could always try to find Panache. We didn't, but we could always try. Alright, now we should be able to consistently activate Shuriken. And he's going to try to do his slime crush. Discard you, because that means we can play every single card in our hand. We will definitely play slimed. Defend, defend. 
Well, the order doesn't matter here because he's still going to take enough damage to get through to the next phase. And why didn't I do Steroid Potion? I'm a complete moron. But it's Steroid Potion, he would have taken so much more. And now look at this, I'm being punished for not doing this. Sure, you know what? You know what? Sure. Defend. Why not? I don't need to play much anything else as long as we can activate Panache consistently. Oh, and now you're the one that's going to be causing the problem. <sighs> you know what? We're going to do this now, correct a mistake that shouldn't have been made. Right, I could have slimed and I would have still done the same thing. Oh well. Let's hope next turn we can trigger one more instance of Panache, because if we can, then we might be able to We kill off the ones behind him, and we definitely cannot. Like, oh my god, we can. Can we really not? I'm feeling dead by daylight, honestly. But I don't know how many people would be interested in that sort of thing at this hour. Alright, I could probably just straight kill them, but this is just more entertaining. Thank you, Panache, for putting in some work. Um... Alchemize is not bad. Again, with Wraith form, I technically could have two of them to gain six intangible for six energy, but it's just not worth it. It really isn't. The additional plus one strength is not lethal, per se? Am I looking for cards? I am looking for cards. Am I looking for energy? I am also looking for energy. We're taking Philosophers. It's the least bad option, in theory, out of all of them, with the exception of the freaking birds. If we encounter the birds, we're probably going to die. We are not taking the left path, as funny as that is. Three elites will kill me. But a bunch of question marks definitely won't, so we're just going to take the leftmost of the middle. It's the freaking birds. Well, I mentioned it, therefore it has to happen. Do we have... Please, don't do this to me. I beg of you. Do we have... Oh my gosh. I can afford to not play infinite blades this turn, except not really. Fine. Fine! No, I, I can afford to not play Infinite Blades right now. Jesus Christ. Um, This goes out on you. Eh, eh. Eh. Can I please, like, kill you off? I take six. I need the thing that lets me keep a power in my opening hand, because I really need to keep Panache in my opening hand if I'm to not die horrifically. Thank you, Panache, for showing up at possibly the worst possible moment in time. Alright, so who's ready to take 30 damage? It's not 30, but it's it, it's basically akin to it. Alchemize. Discard you. Alright, that's enough to defend myself, but I'd really, really like to play Panache right now. I mean, honestly, who doesn't want to play Panache? Okay, so can you please just let me do it before these things kill me? Like, good lord, please. Cease and desist. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. So that's, uh, so that's another one down. We had won the defect run. 
We officially are now on the 7th Ascension, and have the defect finished up for the purposes of this. We're trying the Silent again with a really weird deck archetype, but there's a very real chance of it working, so I'm going to give it a chance. Wow, you are so close to death, bird. It's not even funny. Kinda got a Shiv archetype going. Kind of. We just gotta see if all these enemies are just gonna straight kill me. Because they very well can. <sighs> Game. Game, this is not the time for this. Well, we can start getting our strength rolling, and once our strength rolls up high enough, we might be able to kill him. I did not fix the donate thingy, if only because I don't know how. Rest assured, like, I'm just gonna leave the, uh... Oh, hey. I just realized I'm a moron. Is there a better place to put it? Yes, there is. We could just leave this up here. How does that look? That looks pretty terrible. Um... We'll leave this right below the early access thing, just because it's not going to block anything there. Didn't realize it was blocking everything down there. Whoops. Eh, sure, we can, uh... throw a vulnerability potion and alchemize off of this. Oh, hey, steroid potion. How nice. Yeah, no, we did not end up fixing the donate. Thing, so the uh, bar, the bit bar cannot be made to have donations on it as well. That has to be a separate bar. Which is disappointing, but hey, it's not impossible to deal with. How do you have vulnerable? I didn't apply vul- oh, right, right, I did. Right, vulnerable. Shh, I've got short-term memory. Sue me. Craig is indeed silly. Greg is Greg is a moron. Uh, let's draw another card. Discard you. Shiv. Strike and dead. Get a regen potion. Honestly, the fairy in the bottle is kind of restricting. I'll take the fairy in the bottle and footwork. Is that necessary? No, but another prepared always is nice. For playing as many cards as humanly possible. Hello, Sneko. Hi there. Hi. Uh, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna just drink this now. There's no particular reason for it, I swear. Yep, I messed up. I have messed up my panache once again. I am. You know what? I messed up my panache so bad, I'm restarting this just so I get it right. I need to not mess this up, because if I mess this up, I die. Are these cards actually in the same order? I don't know. Get that out of here. Panache. Infinite Blades. Drink. Alchemize. Excuse me, Gambler's Brew. Backstab and a Strike, which triggers this, and now the Sneko is going to be triggered. Repelexing Gaze! Why did I not start off by drinking this? Better late than never, I always say. By better late than never, I mean, oh my gosh, please, Sneko, please. I do not want this in my body. Can you stop? Can you stop confusing me? Four energy is not enough. We are hovering at our starting health total. So by the way, there's that, yeah. Do I have, yeah, I, I always want to play the zero drops if I can afford them. Um, we are trying our best, but there's just no way to deal with the Sneko effectively. 
Well, you're getting up there, Zalrock. Soon you will catch up with me, because I honestly haven't grown in forever. <sighs> it's kind of emotionally exhausting when you haven't grown in I know why I haven't grown in forever, and I really, really need to start advertising more stuff like this. Oh, sweet. Yes, yes. I will definitely take Well Laid Plans Plus. For a deck like this, that's, like, necessary. It is better, but it doesn't do a whole lot still. Um, yeah, sub-bots always happen. Alright, fine, I guess we're just gonna stab you. I guess, gosh. Greetings, Kilo Yard. We are doing some Slay the Spire while I'm basically taking an extended break from Dead Cells, so I just don't get myself angry at the game. <sighs> okay, alchemize into something that'd be useful here. Um, yes, I can. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna gamblers brew this and this away. Is anything else? Is uh, there we go, panache. Thank you. Well laid plans. Can I draw into something interesting? No, not really. Shiv my way to victory, and then do this. Am I dead? No, this is just a really, really, really painful fight. Once again, why is this a fight that's considered low level? It really isn't. What am I supposed to do here? I'm just dead because you forced me to fight this man. 